Hi, my name is David Melby and I work with Service here at Alpha Laval. We want your plate exchangers to run as smoothly as ever possible. That's why we have come up with 10 top tips to make it easy for you to follow so that you can optimize your performance and avoid unplanned downtime. Okay, so let's get started. Tip 1. Make sure your temperatures and flow rates comply with the design specifications. Tip 2. At startup, make sure to vent the heat exchangers, but open and close the valves slowly to avoid pressure surges and water hammers. Tip 3. Protect your heat exchangers. Use upstream filters and strainers to avoid particles from entering into the channels. Tip 4. At least once a day, check for any changes in temperature or pressure or any sign of external leakage. Tip 5. Make sure you keep your tightening bolts clean and well lubricated. Tip 6. Use performance audit to avoid opening the heat exchangers for inspection. Tip 7. Use cleaning in place to avoid opening the heat exchangers for cleaning. Tip 8. Always keep standby units clean and dry. If a heat exchanger is taken out of service, remember to flush it with fresh water and drain it completely. Tip 9. Protect your heat exchangers from the external environment, like ultraviolet rays or ozone typically coming from electrical sources. Last but not least, tip 10. Only use high quality spare parts for guaranteed performance, reliability and equipment lifetime. And don't forget to maintain a stock of essential spare parts and follow the storage instructions. So, as you can see, regular maintenance on your equipment is very important. It will increase your heat exchanger's lifetime, reduce operational cost and increase your production efficiency. Plus, it's great for the environment. If you feel like you need some help with your heat exchangers, Alpha Laval has got you covered, regardless of brand. We will offer our support to make sure that you can perform at your best. If you want to know more about our service offering, please contact our team of experts. They'd love to hear from you.